Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys. And after I had received this message, then we had to translate this message. The translation reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post my story? I have a family secret that I want to share with you. The secret that is in our family goes on like this. My father, he was born in a family of five and among us, those five children, he was the eldest. So among us, those five children, there was one girl. So my father, after him and his other younger brother, he had decided that they wanted to do some money making rituals. Then they made a decision to sacrifice their only sister. They murdered their only sister. After the elderly people in the family found out that my father and his younger brother were the ones who were behind the murder of their little sister, then the elderly people in the family chose to keep it as a secret because as for my father's younger brother, he was very rich. He was more rich than my father. So my father and his younger brother, since they were the wealthy people in the family, they were the ones that controlled the whole family. So my father's sister, what she used to do is that she used to go to South Africa to sell this thing that they used in the past to decorate the kitchens and the dining rooms, the things that were called doilies. So she would make those doilies, then she would travel to South Africa to sell them. My father and his younger brother had a truck, but this truck, it didn't go all the way to South Africa. It used to go and deliver to Maswingo. So my father's younger sister, she would get on that truck once she was in Maswingo. That is when she will hitchhike some cars or buses that will be on their way going to South Africa. So what our auntie used to do is that by the time that she would come back from South Africa, she would have bought TVs and radios. Back in those days, there were these radios that were called double-deck radios. And in those days, the color TVs, they were still new on the market. So my auntie, when she would be going to South Africa, she would have a lot of orders from her customers. After selling her doilies in South Africa, she would then buy those color TVs and the big double-deck radios and resell them in Zim. So it happened that when my auntie went to South Africa to sell her doilies, then she never returned back for many, many years Everyone started to say that since our auntie had her own boyfriend that was there in South Africa, maybe she had decided to resettle there in South Africa. So we grew up just knowing that our auntie had decided not to come back to Zim, deciding to settle there in South Africa. My brother, when I was now doing my high school, I still remember that in that first term, I used to go to school in the afternoon session because at our school there were a lot of students. So we used to rotate some of the students that would go to school during the morning session. Then the other students would go to school in the afternoon session. So my brother, what used to happen is that my father, since he was a businessman, my father he had a successful driving school then my mother she had plenty of flea markets so it happened that on this other day i was home alone and i was busy cleaning the house before i could go to school as i was busy cleaning the house i then saw that there was someone and this person quickly walked and rushed into my parents bedroom when i saw that there was someone who quickly crossed the corridor and rushed into my parents bedroom i thought that maybe it was a thief who was trying to steal some stuff in my parents' bedroom. But after I had seen that this was a woman, I then got the nerves to follow that woman whom I had seen crossing the hallway going into my parents' bedroom. When I entered into my parents' bedroom, I then saw that there was no one there. So I thought that maybe it was just a hallucination. So I took a mop and a broom and i went into the kitchen so that i can mop the kitchen 
Whilst I was busy mopping the kitchen floor, that is when I started to hear a very faint sound that was coming from my parents' bedroom. So I started walking following the direction in which that sound was coming from. As I was approaching my parents' bedroom, I realized that the sound that was coming out of my parents' bedroom, it was as if someone was using one of those sewing machines. And in my parents' bedroom, there was this other sewing machine, but this sewing machine, it did not belong to my mother as such. She was only given this sewing machine after this strange burial had happened there at the village where my father comes from. So this sewing machine, it once belonged to our auntie, that one whom we were told that she had been murdered when she had gone to South Africa to sell her doilies there in South Africa. So my mother was given that sewing machine. When my mother was given this sewing machine, what happened is that my father, one day, he came back home. But when he came back home, he was with this other traditional healer who was assisting my father at that time. After that traditional healer had assisted my father, I still remember that my father then called me and my siblings and told us to dress up because on that night we were supposed to drive back to the village. So we quickly were rushed back to the village. When we were in the village, that is when that traditional healer, whom had been hired by my father, told all of my father's relatives that our auntie had been murdered while she had gone there to South Africa to sell her doilies. This thing, my brother, when it happened, I think that maybe I was somewhere around grade 6 or grade 7. So what happened once we were in that village after that traditional healer had told my father's relatives that our auntie had died and the way that she had died, she had a very painful death and she had no rest. That is why there was no peace in the family because at that time, a lot of people were experiencing a lot of troubles in the family. So that traditional Hila then convinced all of my father's relatives that they were supposed to be united they had to do one thing while they were consulting with him. So they all agreed. But I think that the only reason why they all agreed to consult with that traditional healer, it was because my father and his younger brother, they were so powerful in the family because they were so wealthy. So all of their relatives then agreed and they took all of our auntie's clothes. Then they started to divide those clothes amongst themselves. Then a grave was dug, my brother. Even right now, that grave is still there in the village. But after that grave had been dug, a few herbs were thrown inside that grave and a few clothes that once belonged to my auntie were thrown into that grave. And after the whole ritual had been done, a tombstone was placed on top of that empty grave on that same day. So my brother, after I had followed that sound that was coming from my parents' bedroom, I then pushed the bedroom door open using the mop that I was holding. To my surprise, my brother, the thing that I saw there truly shocked me because I saw a ghost. This ghost that I saw, it was the ghost of my dead auntie. This ghost, my brother, I just saw it. It was sitting as it was busy sewing using that sewing machine that was on top of my mother's dressing table. Even though I didn't remember our auntie that much because I had only met her when I was a little girl and by the time that she had gone to South Africa, I was still a little girl. But at our house, my parents had this photo album where they kept all the photos of our relatives. But the moment that I saw that ghost that was sitting and was busy using the sewing machine that was on my mother's dressing table, I realized that I realized that this ghost that I was looking at, it was the ghost of my auntie. That ghost never looked at me. Right there, my brother, as I was looking at that spirit, I felt so weak. I tried running away, but I could not even move my legs. I just collapsed my brother and I fainted.